Ah, good evening. Hey, uh, just one short video about uh, a couple things. Uh, first thing is I want to give a big uh, shout to uh, Tuan, uh, Warp Legacy. Uh, Legacy, he's, uh, he's trying to get to uh, 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watch time. Um, not really sure what the big deal is of being a, a YouTube partner and getting monetized because honestly I don't care. But uh, I just do things for me. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, hopefully he can get there. Um, I watch all his videos as much as I can and and give him support he, as much as I can. I'm um, also on Patreon for him, so, you know, whatever. Third thing is, I want to say a big thank you to uh, Roy Adams at uh, Christ Centered Ironworks. Um, you know, um, he's got a set of uh, Hardy, ha Hardy Hammer Power Hammer plans there, which I'm working on work building right now. You can kind of see this. Uh, sorry, Roy, but uh, I'm not following the plans exactly. Mm. Uh, doing it my way with the material I have. Uh, sticking to the intent, but uh, the, uh, the action's a little bit different. Or the way I'm doing it. So, had a bunch of uh, square tubing. Inch and three quarter square tubing I bought for a different project. I said, you know what? It's just sitting there rusting away. So I'm going to use that. Um, so the dimensions are the same as Roy's. Um, I used a piece of four inch square channel for the base instead of building it like he did. Again, I used the square tubing for the frame. Um, got a taper lock bushing and a pulley. Got the one inch shaft bearings just like his. Um, I made a cam. It's out of an old uh, blind flange out of junkyard. Uh, drilled them out, had the holes in it, drilled them out. Uh, the uh, ram is actually a piece of John Deere uh, hydraulic cylinder, a uh, two inch ram. Uh, right now it's a little long, I cut it long on purpose. I'm um, working on building the uh, handle, we call, Roy calls the handle or the carrier. Got the spring ordered. Uh, instead of making, uh, he's part of this outside cylinder for the, the guide there. And then I bought two inch, you can kind of see them right there. I bought two inch uh, locking bushings for a two inch shaft and then kind of honed them out with a, a brake cylinder hone so it would slide up real easy. So yeah, this uh, turns in there real nice. It's going to go up and down real good. It's chrome. A couple things I'm also going to do. You can see them uh, set screws, those are going to come out. I'm going to throw some grease jerks in there so they'll be greasable. Um, I'll probably put some grease on top too so it can, uh, so can get some grease. Again, I think it'll come out alright. I don't know which, uh, which anvil I'm going to set it on. Um, for the longest time I didn't have any anvils. Which, you know, I don't know, when it rains it pours, right? So let me get this off here. And give you a quick look at the anvils. So I broke down and bought me this uh, big face one, which I really haven't used much at all. Um, it's a really a nice anvil. Um, the waist is a little thin. I don't know if you guys can see that. Googly eyes. That's uh, Daniel Moss. Uh, they kind of got warm and melted though. Um, the waist is a little thin. Um, it's a nice. It's got a big face. Um, it just seems like it's, if you don't hammer right over the waist, um, you get a little bit of, I don't know, ring. I know, I'll, I'll put some chain around it to reduce the ring. Um, I bought this. This one here at a sale, it's about 70 pounder. I paid way too much money for it. Um, you know, got uh, the fever and started bidding, you know how that goes. So this is a Vandium, Vandium Steel 70. Um, honestly, that thing is so damn hard. Um, that's a hell of a nice anvil to do some work on. Uh, as long as it's not too big, it's good. And then a neighbor of mine found out that uh, I was looking for an anvil. And he says, I got an anvil, but it's in the back of his shed. So for about six months, he kept saying, I'll get it for you, I'll get it for you. And then finally one day he said, hey, come on over. I finally dug out that anvil. And honestly, 
not right sure what it is but it's about 110 pounder it's got a hell of a thick waist and if you got some heavier stuff to beat on honestly my biggest stuff is like one inch I'm not a Daniel Moss beating on that two inch stuff but he's got a 300 pound anvil too um, so again um, I think this is actually made in Britain if I looked it up that one time so I built a little stand for it uh, this stand was an actual stand that came off an anvil off this place that someone stole but they left the stand so that's an original stand it's got oak legs and you can see where the hammer nails are um, this stand over here for this one is is uh, I don't know it was around the place and we bought this place for my wife's mother and father and a lot of the stuff was still here so anyway I said just a quick walk around on my Roy Adams hammer um, I think this will turn out pretty well I was going to build a bigger hammer and I bought Roy's plans for the hell of a hammer the big one he just built and you know I don't have enough room uh, this is probably going to do me just fine I like the tooling he's built up again I'll put the tooling on there but again it won't be exactly like Roy's but it'll be close so I want to say a big shout out to Roy thank you very much for the plans I did buy the plans I probably could have done this by just looking at the, you know looking at the pictures and say oh that's how you do it but you know it's, it's the right thing to do to buy the plans so I hope Roy's doing good um, it's got to be a tough tough road to hoe uh, you know full-time blacksmith and I'm not something I could do or even want to do but again you know big shout out to uh, to Tuan and uh, Roy Adams Christ Centered Iron Works um, I just started uh, looking at some of the other stuff so I appreciate you guys stopping by uh, again it's Travis uh, signing off um, be safe.